Well, I think without a doubt, let's find a better composition. I think this is going to be my sunset shot. Okay guys, we've moved over to the other side and I'm now photographing the, the pier um, and it's where the lifeboat launches. So uh, photographing that now. Long exposure again. Trying to keep it to about the minute exposure, which I seem to prefer. Uh, don't think I need to do it any more than that. And we're getting a lovely silhouette of the, the bridge. And, um, water looks nice and smooth and it's looking good and we've just got a nice little bit of light in the background there as the sun's dropping probably got another hour or so that is a nice photo that is lovely i'm so happy so happy i just hope that that sun makes it till the end i don't think it's gonna looking at it um Still giving me some nice colour at the minute. It's stunning. So it's stunning. I might just move a little bit that way because I want to get more of these stanchions that are holding the pier up. I might just get the sun to block the sun behind one of them as well. So let's. It's about there. The last images have been about a 40 second because the sun poked his head out um, but I think I'm back down to about a minute now I am really adjusting to what happens with the light uh, but we're getting a lovely reflection of the light of these two the feet of the bridge here and the, the uh, shadow of them so that's really nice just gives that extra element to the image uh, now, my bike's over the other side of the wall. I just hope it's safe and no one pinched it. Well, so I've got a long walk back. Lovely, soft colours. Because we're doing that ex long exposure. What I might do, I might just drop the crud in there. That's it. Just to calm it down a little bit. There we go. Um, and give it another minute. What well, I've done, yeah, I've, I've just turned the grad a little bit to balance out the light, the brightness of the sun, so I can still get a nice silhouette of the the bridge. Get in! It's a shot I've come for. It's a shot I've come for. I've got the st sun just peeking through one of the bars in the bridge. So yeah, we're on F11. ISO 100, one minute exposure. And the only way I will adjust that now, because the, the light at the minute is pretty constant, um, as if the sun really pops through or it goes, goes behind a cloud for the whole time of the image, then I will change. But at the minute it's pretty constant, so I'm getting a few shots off at them settings.
Right, we'll start heading back. I think I'm, I'm locked on the island for about another hour. Um, it doesn't take me half an hour to get back to that bit, well, 20 minutes. So let's make our way back. We'll see how it's on the way back. I think the light's gone now. I can't see the, uh, it's gone beyond that bank of clouds or sun. So I think we've seen what we want to see. So we'll head home, back to the van, and have a deservedly cup of coffee, I think. Morning. Second day. We're going up at half past five. Sun sets at half seven, so it gives me plenty of time to get ready, have some breakfast. guys in the light I've come to the uh, over the other side this, they've, they've put this little shed here for shelter if you get stuck over to the uh, over on the island. Um, obviously, if it's raining and what have you. So I thought I'll have a minute here. Um, now the tide is pretty much where I left it last night. So, but the tide's going out now. Um, so I'm hoping and it exposes some of these groins as the light comes up. Now I've come here early. Uh, for a couple of reasons really. First one is sunrise, even though I don't think it's going to happen. Um, and probably I prefer the groins to be overcast anyway, because it'll give a more minimalistic image when I take it. Um, and just see how with the tide going out, um, I can I can chase them groins and as they recede. Um, I'll get different images, so that's that's the reason why I've come early, um, just to, to capture hopefully a, a little bit of light, um, but not too much, and um, or fantastic light, and and then uh, and then like I say, chase them groans as the water recedes. So um, I'm gonna have another minute here, and then I'm gonna walk over this bank, see if there's any groans exposed. And um, probably set up actually because uh, I would actually get a get a shot. It's just getting light. Probably another half hour before sunrise, so it's just starting to see we out the torch. So let's get on the beach, and I'll catch up with you shortly. First image of the day, hope you can hear me, it's a little bit breezy. Um, I've got my six stopper on, 
The exposure length is 1 minute 40. Uh, are these groins that I've come to, the first ones that I, that I really like, quite standard groins to be honest. Um, so I'm just timing it at 140. Just beyond the surf, as it's just come right up to the tripod there. Um, so, yeah, first time image in the bag. I've took a landscape and a portrait. Probably, probably on the back of the camera, prefer the portrait, just because how the, the groin runs out. They're not too bad, not too bad. Because it's overcast, it's actually helping with that minimalistic image. So let's just move back a little bit. Um, so I'm going to carry on now walking up the, the beach there. Um, see if I can find something totally different, um, as in with the groins, see if something just a bit more, just different to a standard line of groins really. Um, so let's head up there then and uh, we'll catch you guys again in a minute. quite finished yet as the water's receded it's opened some more interesting groins so um, just taking one or two more images uh, this one was 30 second F22 ISO 50 um, coming towards the end of this this part before it opens out again I'm not sure if I'm gonna get any more if I get any more I'll put them all up but if not um, Thanks for coming with me again on this, this adventure. Uh, love the touch spur point. Um, and hopefully I'll see you again soon. And don't forget, thumbs up, subscribe. Cheers guys.